Hi, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create text and make it appear as if it's on a curve. The logic behind it is pretty simple. What you do is you first write down your text, then you define the path on which you want to lay your text, and then you simply put the path, sorry, the text on your path. And that third step is done by Inkscape, so there's not a lot to worry about. Uh, let's start. I'm going to use the same text that I had on the screen already. So it's going to be text on a curve. Cool. Now let's take uh, the Bezier Path tool and let's draw a horizontal line. Nice. Now I'm going to take the nodes, the path tool, sorry, and select my path and give it a nice little curve. So now it looks much better. And the third and final step is select the text, select the path, go to text, put on path. That's that's pretty much as simple as it is. Now let's see what else we can do. Once you have this in this state, you probably will want to remove the path. So if you were to select the path and press a delete key, you'd notice that the text, you know, just returns back to its original state. So I'm going to control Z right now. The reason why that happened was uh, the text was actually bound to the path. So without a path, there was nothing it could be placed on. So you have two options at this point. You can either select the path and take out the stroke. So it's not visible anymore. And this is an actually this is actually a very good option because if you were to double click on this, you could actually change the text too and it still remains on the path. The only thing is the path is not visible to you. So I'm going to control Z, bring the path back. The second option that you have is you select a text and select the path and do object to path. So now your text is converted to a path. And if you were to select the actual curve, the curve path and press delete, the text stays there. The only catch here is that your text is now path, which means each text, each character in your text is now a path. You cannot actually edit stuff. So I'm going to I'm going to go back, press Control Z a few times until I'm in a position where my text is actually text. The next thing I want to show you is that you can actually move your text around. So you can move this text anywhere you want. But notice that if I select the path and move it the text moves along with it but if I select the text and move it the text you know moves comfortably independent of the path so what you might want to do is you might want to select the path and place it somewhere in the corner of your screen or of your document or maybe even outside of your document uh, which might be somewhere here right and then take your text and place it where you want to place it the nice thing about doing something like this is that you can actually modify the path and still make it make the path or uh, make the text follow the path. So that's a pretty nice uh, effect of the linkage that you have by keeping the path. Uh, so that's that's pretty much what I had for this video, and uh, I hope you found it useful.